To unprecedented heights, his court vision, unquestioned leadership, selfless persona, and uncanny showmanship made SU Hoops a must-see attraction. But above all, his unique style on this very court transformed the F.G. Clark Activity Center into a living, breathing giant. A giant that struck fear into the hearts of many opposing teams brave enough to enter. And now, direct your attention to the Jumbotron for a look at Avery's career through the lens of the Tully award-winning documentary, Avery Johnson, From New Orleans to the NBA. After making a name for himself in New Orleans during his high school career, he began his collegiate experience at New Mexico Junior College before moving on to Cameron University and finally Southern University. While at Southern University, Johnson's scoring output was modest, 9.2 points per game in two seasons. But his playmaking was spectacular. Johnson averaged 10.7 assists in 1986-87 season and 13.3 assists in the 1987-88 season, leading all NCAA Division I players both years. Um, we would have a heavy, heavy jump rope, maybe 25, 30 pounds, and um, it would wear me out, you know, and, and he would always, you know, come on, you can make it, do it, do it, you can make it, and, and I think that jump rope, when we finished with it, both of us slam it up against the wall next to the weight room, and, you know, and, and it's like a determined type of um, slam, you know, that we, we accomplished something, and, and that went on to, to better things on the court when we would, you know, play the opposition. He was the Southwestern Athletic Conference Player of the Year and MVP of the conference tournament as both a junior and senior. And those who knew Avery were certain that he was destined for success. Well, when Avery was a student here at Southern playing basketball, and uh, Avery and I got to talk a lot. We talked on various issues. We talked about the good things that were going on and talked about things w when they weren't going well. And you know, the one thing is that Avery did, if he could have his way, Avery would have played baseball. Little, very few people know that his dad really wanted him to be a baseball player. But you know what, I'm so glad he never touched baseball and he became a basketball player. In addition to leading the NCAA in assist in each of his two years at Southern, he still owns several NCAA Division I records, including most assists in a single game, the highest single season assist average, and the highest career assist average. Southern University is proud to have graduates who have made tremendous accomplishments and strides, such as Avery Johnson. Johnson is most well known for his time with the San Antonio Spurs, where he made tremendous contributions to the team during the years 1991, 1992 to 93, and 1994 through 2001. Particularly known and admired for his leading role on the 1999 Spurs team, Johnson helped take home the NBA championship title against the New York Knicks, where the nation watched and cheered, along as he successfully made the victorious jump shot in game five. 11 three-pointers in the entire series. A minute to go, elimination game. Can New York hold him off? Sean Elliott. Avery Johnson. Big hoop for Avery Johnson. During his empowering commencement address, he stressed to graduates the importance of perseverance and excelling in spite of the odds. Johnson also alluded to the mentoring and nurturing that he received while at Southern University, and specifically from his basketball coach and mentor, Ben Joe. You cannot create genius, but genius can create. And that's what I saw in him. There are all types of geniuses in music, uh, like Ray Charles, a musical genius. Beethoven was a genius, Chopin was a genius, Michelangelo was a genius, Avery Johnson on the basketball court, he was a genius. 
After Johnson's commencement address, Johnson's number 15 jersey was retired in the very spot where he spent countless hours practicing for perfection and creating his path of success in Southern University's F.G. Clark Activity Center. Southern University also awarded Johnson with an honorary doctorate in Humane Studies. And this is why the Southern University and m College system is proud to honor the accomplishments of alumnus Avery Johnson. He is Southern University's very own living legend. What an honor and a privilege it is to be here. I thank God and my Lord for this opportunity to see each and every one of you for this special occasion. Uh, the naming of Avery Johnson Court and, and New Jersey. It is a privilege for me, my wife Cassandra, who's a Southern University graduate in nursing. Wait a minute, honey. It is a privilege to be here. Thank you, Chancellor. Thank you so much. Let's give the Chancellor and the First Lady of Southern University Ms. Lawrence, a big hand. Come on, you can do better than that. I want to thank all of the Southern University board members that are here today. Let's give them a big round of applause, please. I have a lot of family and friends that are here from New Orleans, Texas, all over Louisiana. They're seated right here in this area. With all of my family and friends, please wave your hand. Give them a big hand, everybody. What a special honor. My mom and dad used to sit in those same seats and watch me play. So it's an honor that my family and my friends would take time to come and spend with me for this special occasion. Before I move on, I got to acknowledge one special, special group of people, and that's all of my former teammates that I played with. Carlos Sample, come on down, hurry. Carlos, come on down. Durbin, Craig Pollard, Derek Anderson, come on down, Ballas, hurry. They need to see you. Come on, man, come on down. All of my former teammates, come on down. Hurry, hurry, please hurry. I'm, I'm sorry, Chancellor, but I gotta do this. Come on down. Come on. I would not have the assist record at Southern University if it wasn't for these men. Love you, man. Love you. Love you, That's This is what it's all about. This is what it's all about. These guys are my family. They are my friends. And none of those great passes would have wouldn't have been any assist record had it not been for these gentlemen. Let's give them another big hand. <laughs> Southern University, what I want you to remember is this. You're champions. You're champions. When you wear that blue and gold, you are champions. No matter what's going on, you're special. You're champions. Don't you ever forget it. God bless you, Southern University. God bless you. Avery Johnson, fans, at this time, please welcome Southern University Baton Rouge Chancellor, Dr. James Lorenz, for a special presentation on behalf of the Southern University family. Joining Dr. Lorenz is Southern University System President, Dr. Ronald Mason, SU System Board Chairman, Bridget Denbo. Southern University Athletics Director, Dr. William Broussard, and National Alumni President, Mr. Dennis Brown, to present Avery and his wife, Cassandra, with a token of their appreciation on behalf of the Southern University family. Jaguar Nation, one more time, Avery Johnson. We're gonna present them with pins, and they are now officially the leaders and the members of the Little General of the Jaguar Nation. Congratulations on behalf of the Alumni Federation. Thank you. Beautiful First Lady. Thank you very much.
One more person. Thank you. And now for a special presentation on behalf of the Sub University men's basketball team under the direction of head coach Roman Bates. Today's official game fan call for Avery Johnson. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. 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 Thank you.